Everybody needs to know. Good morning, good evening, and good night. I got a box. Let's see what's inside. You guys probably already know what's inside by the video description, but let's just act like you don't know what's inside. So let's see what's inside. It's another box. All right, what is it? It's this little heater fan that you might have seen. I've seen it many times <clears throat> on the internet. I've heard a lot of bad things about it, so I figured I'd buy it and check it out. If it's not that good, guess what? I got 30 day return policy so I could return it if it doesn't work. But my car doesn't have any heat I bought this to see if it would at least help me stay warm on my drive to work. So let's open it up, let's go hook it up, and let's go find out. So right out of the box you get a little uh, mounting bracket. I guess you could mount this anywhere. I like the clips on these. You got your tape. You know, stick it wherever. I probably won't be mounting it anywhere. I'm just going to be hooking it up today and checking it out. First thing I saw, the sticker is already peeling off. So that's a good sign of very cheapness. Also, the front of this is like a velvet nice and soft very interesting but you got your fan speed low high we got heater or fan so let's go hook it up and let's go see as you can tell we got a little bit of snow again believe it or not yesterday it was like damn near 50 degrees and raining and today it's like 32 degrees and it snowed last night another mad, bad thing is that is corroded. It's got a lot of battery acid on there and stuff, so I gotta clean that up. But I can't find my wired brush, so that's a problem right now. This side doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we can get them off. So the first one, that one came right off, obviously, because there was no corrosion or anything, so I had no problem getting the first nut off. But the second one, I tried and tried, would not come off. So I said, I'll soak it with some WD. Then come back in a little bit and try again. So I wiped off some more of the corrosion, trying to clean it as much as possible before I try to get this nut off one more time. Sprayed it one more time, let it soak in for another like five minutes, went inside, got warm, came back out. Figured I'd clean up the other side real quick as well while I'm letting that soak. That way it gets a good connection. Clean up all the dirt, all the sand and stuff around it. So. So I gave it one more good crank and it popped loose. Then I got it right off. Cleaned everything up as good as possible as good as I could in the cold at least because it was freezing out 27 degrees actually to be exact and at this point I couldn't get this off either because the screw was seized up in there from all the rust and corrosion so I'm gonna just try to tap it out with this wrench here see if I can get it to come loose once I can do that I can pretty much get it off easily And then, yep, once that screw came out, got loose, popped right off. I put the rag in there, I cleaned it up as much as possible. Like I said, I couldn't find my wired brush, so I just did this as good as I could. Called it good. Cleaned up the rest of the battery. And yeah.
Now I got the two ends for the heater, the positive and the negative. So I'm going to hook these two up real quick. And we're going to check and see if this heater actually works. Now, the next thing to do, stop the old car up. Do this, left-handed, I'm not really left-handed, so you know. Let's see if she kicks out heat. All right, she's on. Put it on high. Give it a few minutes. Oh, oh, I mean, it's got it's got heat. It smells a little funky. <laughs> Man, I could prop that boy right there and use it. We're going to run it for a few minutes and uh, we'll see what we can do. So far, it's pretty decent heat. I wouldn't say it's the best heat. You can definitely see the coils heating up inside. Or maybe that's the cords I can see through. <laughs> it's better than no heat, I would say. Yeah. Feels pretty good from this point. I can feel that on my face even, even when I'm recording a video. be with you guys in about five minutes from now and I'll let you know how it is just to be clear I don't know if you guys could see that or not it is 27 degrees outside and this thing is actually pushing out quite a bit of heat I've actually never been so warm in this car in my whole life of having this car it's never had heat and I'm pretty warm so I know people say this thing sucks but for what it is it's definitely putting out quite a bit of heat I'd probably give it, as of right now, just because it's the first time using it, I don't know how durable it is, how long it's going to last, I'd give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Why 4 and not 5? Because like I said, it's putting out good heat and I actually do feel pretty warm, but I do not know how durable it is, so I can't give it a 5 star yet. We'll come back after the cold season's over in the next month here me using it almost every day and we shall see how it is one thing I did notice is this light stays on when the car is off so I will be pulling both of these fuses out just so my battery doesn't die got both fuses out I had to get a pair of pliers because I could not pull those out with my hands for the life of me they were really in there lights off now so I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and see if the car will start back up this way and that way and up and around and down and through the door because it is freaking cold out here and I don't have time to actually do this stuff properly so yeah cold I would like to say I take my four star back and give it a three star because them dang fuses were in there so hard I tried and tried and tried I could not get them out with my hands for the life of me but if I didn't have pliers I'd have been screwed car have been dead tomorrow morning so I mean that's something to look into I might put an on off switch right there just a make it easier we'll see though hi what's up all right so I've been using this thing this little heater for the past week every morning for work an hour there I don't really have to use it on the way back since it's been, been really warm inside the car um, 
So my final verdict is I give it a two star. Why am I giving it a two star? Well, let me tell you. If you're driving and it's below 30 degrees, you're gonna freeze your ass off unless it's pointed right at you. Even then it's cold. It doesn't produce a lot, a lot of heat. It's more like a little bit of warmth for you. If it's like above, say 32 degrees, your car will get warm. It takes an average of 35 to 40 minutes for it to get warm, actually warm in there enough for me to bear it. Other than that, yeah, it's just your standard cheap heater. Um, second off, you can't pull the dang fuses out to turn it off with your fingers. Like, them boys are stuck in there. There's no on and off switch, so if you don't pull the two fuses, your battery will die. So, that's kind of a downfall. Like I said, I want to put a switch in there so I can just turn it on and off. But third thing. It smells like cancer. And what do I mean by that? It literally smells like melting plastic every time you run it. When I drive with it on, I'm doing this. I'm covering my face and or putting a mask on so I don't have to smell it. So that's my verdict. I'll give it a two star. I mean, if you want to try it out yourself, be my guest. Um, I guess it's a cheap substitute for if you don't want to get your heat fixed but yeah so yeah that's the end of this video y'all have a good night a good morning a good evening wherever you are wherever you may be i love you all and peace out